If you already have an unhealthy vagina, these products are going to make it worse. Welcome back to the Hair Scripts channel by Bevy. And today we're gonna talk about how to get rid of those pesky yeast infections forever. Okay, sis, forever, ever, and ever. All right, so I'm gonna go through all the fun, boring stuff of just going through what a yeast infection is because apparently, <laughs> you know, my data shows that, you know, my audience is 25 to 35. And yes, assuming that a 25 year old already knows what a yeast infection is, let's not make an assumption. I just wanna go through the basics. And then we're gonna, go, we're gonna go into this proven regimen, okay? Not only is it proven, but it's backed by a gynecologist because this algorithm or this regimen was prescribed by a gynecologist. To me, years and years ago, as a teen, I went through the whole thing, you know, and I had to learn, I had to figure it out, but guess what? You know, the gynecologist put me on this regimen and I'm telling you, I've had a squeaky, eeky, eeky vag, you know, a wop, a clean vag, a, perfect just forever and i'll tell you this not only is this going to help you as far as eliminating the yeast infection but making sure that it doesn't return because it's going to maintain homeostasis inside your vagina making sure that everything is balanced you're not overproducing bad yeast that everything your ph ph is perfectly balanced but it's also going to ensure that you don't have any smells any itch anything when i tell you you're gonna act, listen i like to say that my vag smell and taste like voss okay you know the water voss okay it's clear okay not only it's it's clean and it's clear but it's bougie water voss water that's what you you want your vagina to look and smell like and taste like water 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 just fresh okay just supple okay all right anyway i'm sorry i got caught up all right so for those of you who don't know i'm sh i'm assuming everybody does but whatever a yeast infection is basically overgrowth of yeast okay yeast cells in your vagina naturally yes every vagina has yeast in it okay it has good and bad bacteria it also has yeast now what happens is you are imbalanced, right? You have, you're overproducing bacteria, you're overproducing yeast. It's overly multiplying and this is gonna cause swelling, itching and irritation. Of course, a very thick white cottage cheese discharge. And contrary to popular, popular belief, everyone doesn't see this discharge all the time. Some people have it, some people don't, okay? Just know that if you're itching, pay attention, okay? Yes, there could be, itching can be a sign of, um, of you having some form of irritation, of you putting on something that may have been too strong, using a heavy soap. But more than not, once you wash up, you should be fine. But if it's consistent and it does not go away, sis, you got a yeast infection, okay? That's how you know. You know if, you, if you're if you itching, you know if your vulva, which is your lips, is swollen because now it's de you're dealing with inflammation because now inflammation within itself is a response of your immune system trying to heal your body of some stupidness going on in areas where it shouldn't. So if your vagina is just, and I'm not talking about, you know, when people say your, your vagina is fat, honey, they talk about, you know, that area, the pube area where the pubic hair is that, okay? We not talking about that. I'm talking about your lips and all of that is swollen. Yeah, right. That's not, that's not what we supposed to be doing. Now, please stick around. Please do not log off. For all my, for all my, my older baddies, my seasoned baddies that are 35 and older, because I'm telling you what I'm about to show you right now is gonna change your world. I never heard of this anywhere, not even on the internet. If when I say it, you heard of it, please drop the link, let me know, tell me the information down below in my comments because I'm telling you this is about to change your life. You're going to have a happy vagina, okay, forever. Okay, as long as you're consistent and you're compliant with the regimen that I'm gonna drop. So, other than that, you know, other than that, you know, redness, soreness, of course, is gonna hurt if you're having sex, burning during urination. Everybody can have all of these. Some people can have some, some people most. These are just common stuff. You know, causes, 
you know, if you're on antibiotics, you know, any reason for that, yeah, you know, pregnancy can, can shift your hormones and mess up your balance with stuff, overly stressed, you know, like I said, hormonal imbalance, a weak immune system, but then just overall, just not having good hygiene, okay? This is more for my yeast infection girls who for some reason you're just balanced, your pH is just off. Maybe you're sleeping with somebody who is just throwing you off or multiple somebodies and it's throwing you off. Or for whatever reason, you know, we like to wear our little things, a little tight, a little fashion over, a little sheet in, a little this and that. And sometimes it's cutting at the wrong place. Your thong is thonging. You know, like just different things or you're eating way too much sugar, you're eating way too many carbs, and that stuff can also, or you're diabetic, you're pre-diabetic, you're insulin resistant, and all of that stuff is gonna contribute towards you having reoccurring yeast infections, okay? If you're eating too much bread and pasta and rice, okay? Arroz con pollo, okay? Rice and peas, all of that stuff. Believe it or not, all of that stuff can contribute towards you having a yeast infection, too much carbs. So I'm talking to you people who don't have any real underlying health conditions or are on any medications that can be causing it. However, while this won't treat if that's your problem, this will definitely mitigate that yeast infection mess. But now this is going to help you if you're overall healthy, okay? Now, how are they diagnosed? By now, we don't need to go to a doctor for them to diagnose us, okay? They'll, they'll do like a test and they'll whatever, and they'll whatever, they'll get all that, and they'll do a pelvic exam. They can look at external signs of it. But for those of us who are grown, sweetie, if your lips itch, you got a yeast infection, okay? They're severe, mild, moderate, but if it, I don't care, the minute it's moderate, you got a yeast infection, the mild, the minute you feel a little tingle and a little twinge in your vulva, sis, you got a yeast infection. I would assume you do and just treat, okay? Now, how is it usually treated? How do we usually treat it, okay? If you don't go to a doctor and you've grown, you already know you're gonna go over the counter and you're gonna go and get Monistat, right? Monistat seven, three, one, or two. The difference really is that some of them are just higher concentrations, meaning you don't have to take them as often. If you're pregnant, they recommend Monistat seven right because the concentration is lower and it's not going to be absorbed as much into the system obviously there's some there's some that are higher concentrations like the one and the three all of that so for the most part most people are going to use some type of intravaginal antifungal right because yeast overexpression of yeast is a fungus essentially it's a fungus right hey baddie are you losing your hair yes you are because you're on this channel anyway listen if those hair oils diy treatments and hair growth pills are not working to help you regrow or thicken your hair hear me you've tried everything and it does not work go ahead and join the hair script community and let us help you effectively regrow your hair by giving you access to proven methods that are backed by receipts honey and effective products that will give you impactful results for free 99 okay yes i said it free 99 we partner with dermatologists, trichologists, and other healthcare practitioners to bring you real solutions for your hair loss. And you don't even have to leave your home. So stop being lazy, okay? Stop struggling to figure this out. Quit playing, sis, and just click the link below to join the community and get your freebies before it ain't free no more. Don't say I ain't tell you. Bye. And so um, that being said, most women, we're gonna know to go use Monistat. If we go to the doctor, the doctor is gonna prescribe some type of prescription form of Monistat. It's more than likely an antifungal. It's going to deal with the yeast. Now here's the thing, and now we're about to go into what I'm trying to share with you. The thing with that is a lot of times, there's two problems with this, okay? Number one is those antifungals, those intravaginal creams that you use to treat your yeast infection for the most part doesn't treat your yeast infection what it does is it alleviates those symptoms and so the symptoms are so so minimal or sometimes you don't even notice that they're there anymore that you think you're clean and clear and under control and you go back to the same habits that exacerbated it in the first place and now or you don't have to do anything a lot of times your period is going to shift your 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 hormones is going to shift your balance as well and you get your period and boom are you that girl that every time you get your period following your period is a yeast infection i'm talking to you now no it's not the tampon no it's not 
the the pad now let me help you out yes it's the tampon yes it's the pad in the sense that these things are making it worse is exacerbating it especially if you have sensitive skin especially if you're using cheaper products and now those cheaper products are now i mean it's just oh child it's becoming a cesspool of nastiness and chaos okay but overall if you already have an unhealthy i almost said you know uh, an unhealthy vagina an unhealthy vag, these products are going to make it worse. They're throwing fuel to this fire that's already there. It's like a little light. It's like a small light and then you're throwing fuel in. Oof. Right? So if you already have a healthy vagina, more than likely using products like that, that can irritate, they're just gonna irritate you and then you'll know to not use them because they're irritating you, but they're not necessarily causing a yeast infection. The yeast infection is internal, right? And so a lot of times you're using, so problem number one is these topicals don't always treat. More than like they're alleviating the symptoms you still have the un underlying issues that's going to be exacerbated after your period or after any type of thing that is going to exacerbate it right number two if it does treat it you're still not maintaining a level of homeostasis right in your body so what's happening is you're treating the issue right at the source right then and there but then everything is still happening that was happening before it's almost like whatever you did before the pimple came to a head and you popped the pimple, you got rid of it, but this, the process is still percolating, okay? It's still percolating, twerkulating underneath the scene. So boop, there's gonna be another pimple. If it's not here, it's gonna be there, it's gonna be there because the issue, the internal systemic issue is not being dealt with. So even if you externally pop a pimple, they're gonna all over the other place, right? It's the same thing here. But then the other thing, the second part to that is your body, if you keep doing the same thing, the, the yeast, your the yeast is going to build a resistance to this to the medications. So let's say you got a, a you know what is it yeast infection? You got a yeast infection. You use the intravaginal cream, gone, gone, right? You got another yeast infection a month later, or every month you're getting reoccurring yeast infections after your period, and you keep using. The, after a while, your the yeast infection, the yeast, the bacteria is gonna laugh at the cream. It's gonna be like you ain't got nothing else. Then you're gonna run to the doctor because it's not getting better, it's getting worse, now it's burning. And the doctor's gonna give you a different cream. Now, don't get me wrong, now this cream seemed like it works because it's dealing with a new strand of the yeast. There's so many different strands of yeast and bacteria in our vagina. I'm telling you, it's a whole world in me, okay? And so now it's dealing with a different, you're dealing with the cream or gel that is dealing with a different strand. So now you feel like, okay, I'm good till you've exhausted all your options okay and yet they still keep coming back the problem here is not treating it it's they keep coming back how do we stop these reoccurring yeast infections forever and ever and ever so now cue in diflucan diflucan aka flu fluco fluconazole or fluconazole that's the generic name for it i'm sure many of you have taken it it's the one pill that you pop and boop is gone right fine now not to say your body won't build a resistance but Everything that I'll tell you on this channel is gonna be a regimen, okay, sis? I'm not gonna put you on to nothing that's not gonna help. And if it doesn't help when you try this, okay, for those of you who either have a yeast infection now, that's why you're on this video, or you keep having reoccurring yeast infections, that's why you're on this video. If it doesn't work, drop a comment down below, please. Now, so let's go into what works, okay? What you're gonna do, if you have a great gynecologist, the gynecologist, and what I'm telling you is backed by a GYN is gonna give you Diflucan, but ask them not for Diflucan once, but you want enough Diflucan to last you a good month or so. Because here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna use that Diflucan. You're gonna use boric acid. I know for those of you who are like, oh, we heard of this. That's what we're, no, wait. Just hear me out. You're gonna use boric acid and you're gonna go get these particular probiotics, okay? These are called the raw, and I hope you can see it. It's called the raw probiotic 100 billion CFUs, okay? I hope it's clear, I hope. If not, I'll, I'll show the, I'll show like a picture on the screen, okay? So you're gonna get the diflucan, the boric acid, and you're gonna get the raw, the raw. They have to be the raw. I know there's another one that's called women's raw, but I think this one has more, it's 100 billion CFUs. And this one also have prebiotics, 
prebiotics and digestive enzymes okay let me give you the disclaimer i'm not a doctor Brrr, all that information should be in the description box and i can't prescribe and i can't treat and i can't any of the above i'm only sharing with you what a board certified OBGYN shared with me this regimen saved my entire adult life and my vagina has been happy and making others well the right people happy oh so how are you gonna do it the Diflucan is only if you currently have a yeast infection. The other two products are forever. You don't have to have a yeast infection anymore. You don't even have to have recurring yeast infections. This is to keep your pH balanced for life, okay? So now, if you are currently on your yeast infection, if you currently have a yeast infection, you're gonna take Diflucan once every three days, okay? Once every three days, okay? You wanna make sure that you're monitoring your symptoms, check them out. This is only for like about a month, like about a month. Not, you don't need to go ham, okay? Like if you get six refills, if the prescriber gives it to you about six times, four to six times, that's fine. You're gonna use it once every three days until it's finished, okay? So if your prescriber is happy giving you four to six, that's great. You're gonna you take one every three days until it's finished, okay? Automatically, you're gonna feel good with that. Simultaneously, while you're taking the Diflucan, you have a yeast infection. At the same time, you're gonna take boric acid, right? Once a day, okay? You're gonna take it once a day. And this is at nighttime because this will leak out your coop, okay? It will go in there, does what it... By the way, let me... I have to say this because I saw this on a video somewhere else and it made me laugh. Like, no, it made me cry. It was hilarious, right? These look like pills, right? These look like pills that you're supposed to ingest, that you're supposed to take orally. Do not, please. And listen, I'm assuming that we all know, but I gotta also assume that we don't know. Do not take these orally because you will, you can die. They will kill you, okay? Boric acid can kill you. They literally can, they can poison you, okay? If you take them. These are suppositories, meaning you're supposed to take them. And I think if you buy them online, I think I got these on Amazon. This specific brand I got on Amazon, do I know if one brand is better than the other? I, I don't know about the brand, it's just boric, it's boric acid, 600 milligrams, right? This, you know, you just pop it in, boop, you just pop it in with your hand, but if you need like a little suppository, you could just get a suppository on Amazon and just stick it in, It just stick it in there. While you have a yeast infection, while you're on the Diflucan, until it exhausts, you're taking this once a night, every night, okay? Please, I'm just letting you know, What's gonna happen is it's gonna it's gonna make all the debris rain, all the trash rain, and clear it out. So you're gonna be leaking, okay? You're gonna be like, what is going on? Oh my gosh, you're gonna be leaking. You might wanna wear a panty liner during this because this is gonna get messy. Your panties are gonna be, is gonna be messy. You might be sitting on a whole bunch of stuff, okay? Exactly what's coming out. It could be a mix of discharge and whatever else this is releasing is cleansing out of your vagina, okay? It's, this right here is the goal. But while you're on a yeast infection, you're going to take this once for once a day for seven nights, for a week. The probiotics, right? You're gonna take this three times a day with food. Three times a day with food. I said it, three times a day. How many come in here? These only have 30 capsules, so you will be, I mean, if you need to subscribe and, and just get them coming every every month, or not even, because you're gonna go, you're gonna pass these in a month. I'm telling you, you're gonna take this three times a day with food every day. And I'm talking to you if you currently have a yeast infection. I say all that to say, that's if you currently have a yeast infection. I'm telling you, it's not only gonna clear it, it's gonna get rid of it, sis. Like. I'm telling you, your life will change, I promise you. Now, for those of you who don't have yeast, inf a yeast, inf uh, active live yeast infection right now, but you always get one, it's reoccurring, it's just something that you just can't seem to just shake, and you're like, it's, 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 it's interrupting your life. Now, this is what you're gonna do. No Diflucan for you because you already, you don't have a yeast, an active yeast infection, but you're gonna take these probiotics three times a day, forever. They're probiotics, they, they can do no harm. They honestly could do nothing but good. Benefits of probiotics, hold on. Okay, so not only can probiotics help prevent or treat diarrhea caused by infections or antibiotics, it maintains good gut health, 
right? Gut health is at the epicenter of all your health, okay? Is at the epicenter of hair loss because y'all follow me because of my hair content, right? And I try to mix it up and give y'all feminine health. But by the way, quick, quick plug, all the stuff that I give you ties back into hair because if your, hair, if your health is off, sis, your hair is, is thin, it's falling out, it's all of the above, okay? And if it ain't yet, it will. So let's get our health together. But anyway, back to this. You know, gut health is at the epicenter of hair, good hair, good breath, good hygiene, good smelling, front, back, Buddha Kuda, and all of the above, okay? You don't want your vagina to smell, have good gut health, okay? No IBS, um, it boosts your immune systems, and it reduces inflammation, okay? So there is no... There, don't, I don't want you to know, oh my God, three times a day for a probiotic? Yes, it's a probiotic. It's absolutely benign, it's absolutely helpful, and it's just, gr I mean, it's just great for boosting your immune system, reducing that inflammation. Inflammation is an inflammatory, it, it just, it's all over your body sometimes when you're not even aware. So this is good to have, and to maintain good gut health, which is gonna just keep your whole body great. Make sure you don't have a leaky gut that's leaking all kinds of stuff into your intestines. Ciao, okay? Please, you wanna be clean, you wanna be fresh, you want all of that to be great. You're gonna take this three times a day, every day for your for your whole life. Why not? Why not? Like, I mean, if you can't, if you gotta stop you. Listen, I'm not what what I will say is I haven't replenished in a little bit. And I'm not still going, I don't rebound. So that's just so you know. And the boric acid, you're only gonna take these, right? Once you're regular. And you're good if you feel something creeping up your left side if you feel like mm, you know how as a woman you just know something ain't right it ain't fully a yeast infection it ain't full but you're just feeling a little i would say the boric acid once a week until you feel you've reached homeostasis right just once a week pick a day that you know you're not gonna be extra busy you know or Pick a night that you know the next day you're not gonna be extra busy because you put this in that night, the next day you're gonna be, you're gonna be a fountain. Okay, so, um, or a leaky faucet. So I'm just telling you, pick a day or, you know, wear a panty liner. But you know, you know you're gonna be in house Sunday, you're gonna be cleaning up, you're gonna do your spring cleaning, your winter cleaning, whatever. Do it on a, a Saturday night to Sunday morning. Don't go out. And do not book any D appointments when you're on this, okay? I'm letting you know. Do not book any D appointments when you're on this. If you're clean out of this for 24 hours out of your system, you're good. But while you're literally actively using this, if you used it the night before, do not book any D appointments and do not take any D appointments, please. And for the very reason why if you put it in there and he goes down on you, sis, you can poison him. And a GYN told me that. So I'm not making that up, okay? Um, I'm not sharing her name because she didn't ask me to. But I'm telling you, the same reason why you can't take it in is the same reason why if you've taken it, please do not let him go down on you. Please, please, sis, let it clear out. And then you can take your D appointment. You will thank me. And so will he. If you like this video, like. Comment down below if I said anything new that you've never heard anywhere before. And I'm gonna try to link these things below so you can buy them on your own. Like I said, if you're actively on a yeast infection, go to your GYN and ask them for Diflucan. See if your, your GYN is cool enough to give you four to six so you can do this. You could even tell her the regimen that I gave you. Try me, tell her that I said so. And a OBGYN prescribed this, same very regimen, okay? The same, same algorithm was prescribed. So for me, real quickly, before I go, how I do it, I take this three times a day, every day, all my life. And for the most part, this I only do now because I'm, I'm good. I've been good for a very, very long time. I only do this maybe like once, like after my period, and I just want everything to just be real nice, real quick. I do this like after my period, I do it like maybe, um, kind of like, I don't know, like, not the whole month, but it just depends. Like I kind of just, I, I could eyeball it now, right? Like I feel it, like, you know, I let the ancestors lead me same way how you cook. It's the same way, like I'm like, mm, you know what? I could do this 
you know, and then I'll stop. You don't, this, you don't have to do forever. This is once you, you're at homeostasis and because your period for every woman naturally shifts everything, I like to just go in, do this after my period, get it all cleared out. And this is just forever, okay? Um, if I said anything that helped you, comment down below. Subscribe to this channel for more, t like I'm telling you, I'm giving you all the tea, nobody's paying me a dime because I'm not big enough and they don't care. But I will still give you the tea and I will still be honest when I blow up, okay? Um, and I'll, and please still support. Um, that being said, thank you ladies, okay? Baddies at any age from your 20s all the way to, <laughs> to your cold, okay? Love you, talk to you and see you for the next video. Bye.